Have you ever wondered about the black goo that was found inside the Osiris shaft? If so, you're not alone. This mysterious substance has baffled historians and archaeologists for years. But what is it? And where did it come from? My name is NEXT, and in this video, we'll take a closer look at the evidence and try to piece together this puzzle. So grab a cup of coffee and settle in. It's time to go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> The Osiris Shaft is a deeply mysterious subterranean structure located beneath the Giza Plateau in Egypt. Another one here. In 1998, Egyptologist Zahi Hawass made an important discovery when he rediscovered the Osiris Shaft located beneath the causeway linking the Sphinx to the Pyramid of Khafra. However, unusually, his excavation report made no mention of the black goo found inside. There's to be some sort of residue or moisture. The mysterious black goo inside the Osiris shaft at Giza has long been a source of intrigue for researchers, historians, and curious minds alike. So recently, I led a tour of Egypt with Adept Expeditions. As part of our journey, we had the opportunity to explore the Osiris Shaft. Now inside the Osiris Shaft, we've descended the first level here. We're just waiting for the rest of the group to come down. As you can see, there's some sand falling as people come down. We're now going to go down to the second level. Which is unavailable to general tourists. This ancient landmark is one of the most impressive sites in all of Egypt and is just dripping with mystery. We had the privilege of having a geologist with us on our expedition inside the Osiris shaft and she was intrigued by an odd black goo that had been found splattered on the ceiling and on the containers that experts call sarcophagi. Although she wasn't sure what it was, she speculated that it could be something naturally occurring in the stone itself or it could have been something the ancient Egyptian tomb builders intentionally left behind. Now, this is something that has been puzzling researchers for a very long time, but I think I might have found something that could help us figure it out. But first, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're new here, and be sure to also click the bell icon so you can receive notifications for when I drop new videos like this one. The Osiris shaft is not an isolated case when it comes to the black goo. In fact, Black goo can be found on numerous ancient Egyptian coffins and mummy cases. For example, black goo has been discovered on the golden mask of Tutankhamun, as well as his innermost gold coffin. Another example would be Jed Khonsu F. Unk. He was born during the reign of Amenhotep III and lived through the reigns of Akhenaten, Tutankhamun, and Horemheb. We don't know a lot about Jed Khonsu F. Unk's life, but we do know that he was a high priest in the Temple of Amun at Karnak, and his role as Opener of the Doors of Heaven entitled him to open the doors to the shrine in the temple's innermost sanctuary. This was a degree reserved only for the highest initiates. When Jed Khonsu F. Unk transitioned into the afterlife, the process of mummification began. The body was washed, dried, and wrapped in linen strips before being placed inside the coffin. His coffin was then covered in black goo with several liters of warm, viscous substance poured over it and filling all its crevices, coating it completely, as if to hermetically seal it. It was also used to anoint statues of deities and shabti boxes. Now all of this evidence points to the fact that there are numerous instances of this black goo being used by the elite in Egyptian burials. The black goo found in ancient Egyptian burials and artifacts was not just restricted to a single site. It has been discovered in many different places throughout Egypt showing that its use was widely accepted by the elites of the time. So, this mysterious substance is not unique to the Osiris shaft. But what is it? And if we find out what it was made from, can we learn more about why the ancient Egyptians used it? After much research, I was able to uncover a recent study on the black goo that may unlock the secret inside the Osiris shaft at Giza. What is the mysterious black goo of ancient Egypt? 
What was once a mystery to archaeologists is now revealed. Dr. Kate Fulcher, research assistant in the British Museum's Department of Scientific Research, has solved the centuries-old riddle behind the mysterious black goo found elsewhere in Egypt. Her team of experts analyzed more than 100 samples of the mysterious substance collected from 12 coffins and mummy cases to gain insight into the mystery of the black goo and how the ancient Egyptians made it. The laboratory at the British Museum conducted a chemical analysis to identify the components that were present in the substance. To do this, the scientists took tiny samples and used an invaluable technique called gas chromatography mass spectrum spec gas chromatography mass spectrometry. Try saying that one five times fast. It's enabled the scientists to identify the chemical compounds present in the samples and determine their composition. This is achieved by separating a sample into its components known as chromatographic separation before measuring the mass of each component. The process involves vaporizing each sample and pushing it through a long tube which separates the molecules in the sample. The method is based on the principle that the different molecules travel at different speeds through the tube, depending on their size and chemical composition. As the samples move through the tube, it is analyzed by the mass spectrometer and its components are identified. From this, scientists can tell which molecules are present and in what quantities. Dr. Fulcher was able to identify the black ooze composition as a combination of plant oil, animal fat, tree resins, beeswax, and bitumen. The exact ratios of these ingredients vary based on where they were sourced from. It is possible that there were other ingredients in the black goo which can no longer be detected and this could be due to degradation over time as well as changes in the composition of the black goo due to the particular environment it was stored. Thanks to Dr. Fulcher's research, we are now able to piece together an even bigger picture of life in ancient Egypt. The discovery of the composition of this black goo provides us with an invaluable insight into the culture of a civilization that has been gone for centuries. But where did the black goo come from? The results of Dr. Fulcher's study reveal that some of the ingredients used to make the black goo only naturally occur outside of Egypt indicating that they were imported. The two tree resins which were found in the black goo are pistachia resin and conifer resin. Pistachia resin has been sourced from sites as far away as ancient Greece, while conifer resin is native to Lebanon and other countries in the Mediterranean region. Archaeologists found pots with resin from these trees in the ancient Egyptian city of Amarna, as well as a shipwreck off the coast of western Turkey. These pots were probably made in, in modern Israel. Pistachia resin was also used as incense in ancient Egypt and as a golden varnish on painted coffins. Conifer resin is a type of tree resin that may come from pine, cedar, fir, or juniper trees. It is difficult to tell these resins apart after so many years. Conifer resin has been found in Egyptian jars that were used for other purposes like rituals or funerals, so we know it was being imported in significant quantities. Now, the black goo was also found to contain beeswax and bitumen, so it's no wonder why we have found ourselves in such a sticky situation trying to unravel this mystery. Bitumen is a black tarry substance derived from petroleum and it was used by the Egyptians to waterproof boats, making them more durable and better able to withstand the forces of waves. It was also used for adhesives, caulking, and bonding materials, especially in shipbuilding. Bitumen is an umbrella term for various types of crude oil products made from the remains of living things, such as plants, animals, and single cell organisms that have been subjected to extreme pressure over millions of years. This intense pressure has caused the original organic material to undergo a chemical transformation, producing a variety of hydrocarbons, known collectively as bitumen. And the remains of these living cells are called biomarkers, and they can help us find out where the bitumen came from. Scientists compared the biomarkers in the goo samples to those from known sources to see that the bitumen came from the Dead Sea. This makes sense because the ancient Greek texts refer to solid blocks of bitumen floating to the surface of the Dead Sea, and people would actually row out there and get these pieces to sell to Egypt. 
Who knew that by rowing out to the Dead Sea, one would make a killing? We can learn many things from black goo, which has been used by the ancient Egyptians for thousands of years. Not only does the black goo reveal the incredible reach and power of their trade routes, but the unique concoction serves as a window into the spiritual beliefs of this mysterious ancient civilization. But why did the ancient Egyptian elites use this black ritual residue? The black goo was used during the preparation of the dead body and then again during the funeral on top of the mummy case or coffin. But to better understand why it was used in this way, we need to think like an Egyptian and look through the eyes of a symbolist. Therefore, we should discuss the esoteric symbolism of ancient Egyptian black goo. One of the ancient names for Egypt was Kemet, which translates to the black land, and it's thought to have originated from the dark alluvial black silt deposited along the banks of the River Nile. This sediment is vital for sustaining the fertility of Egypt's soil, as it contains valuable nutrients such as phosphorus, calcium, and magnesium. Given its ability to promote growth and nourish the land, this alluvial silt was seen as a powerful symbol of regeneration and resurrection in ancient Egypt. It was believed to give life back to the dry riverbeds after the floodwaters had receded, allowing for new crops and vegetation to grow. This magical property of soil was also seen in the funerary customs of Egypt. After mummification, a body would be placed in a tomb filled with a dark alluvial silt, symbolizing resurrection and rebirth. Black became a powerful color associated with death in the afterlife in ancient Egyptian culture. Today, black is still used to represent mourning and remembrance of the dead in many cultures, including our own. It is often seen as a way of honoring those who have passed away and showing respect for their memory. As such, the symbolism of black in connection to death in the afterlife has been an important part of many cultures throughout history. In the ancient Egyptian mythology, the black color of the black goo had a deep spiritual significance for ancient Egyptians, believed to represent death and rebirth. It is thought that the black symbolized regeneration in Egypt, linking it with the god Osiris, or Usur, who is referred to as the Black One in ancient Egyptian funerary texts throughout history. Osiris is traditionally depicted with black skin and a mummified body. The deceased would become a form of Osiris when they transitioned into the afterlife. And clay and wooden seed beds in the shape of Osiris, filled with black soil from the Nile and sown with germinating seeds, were sometimes included in the funerary equipment in New Kingdom burials. So here we have concepts of black, death, rebirth, and regeneration, all linked together and represented by Osiris. It is also possible that the black goo was used as an offering to the gods to ensure that a person's soul would be protected in their afterlife journey. By painting the deceased and their belongings black with the goo, they were Osirisized. Therefore, the black goo was a form of mummy medicine for the dead, with its black color symbolizing regeneration in Egypt and the god Osiris. The black goo was also used to preserve and protect mummies from decay, giving both practical and spiritual significance to ancient Egyptians, making it a key part of funerary customs for the elite. The black goo's spiritual properties, combined with its practical application, is what made the ancient Egyptian elite stick with the sticky substance throughout the ages. They stuck together like new money. So there we have it. We are one step closer to solving one of the most enduring mysteries of the Osiris Shaft. But there's still much more to be discovered about the sacred science of this ritual residue and its associated spiritual meaning in ancient Egypt. Through this research, we can now see that the black goo was multifunctional. It was used by the ancient Egyptian elite to preserve the body from decay and offer protection for the dead person's soul on their journey into the afterlife, with the black color symbolizing regeneration in Egypt personified as the god Osiris. This knowledge helps to further our understanding of the black goo and the integral role it played in ancient Egyptian funerary customs offering both practical and spiritual significance to the mysterious black substance found in the Osiris Shaft. The Osiris Shaft at Giza continues to astound us with its secrets, and we look forward to what wonders this site may yet reveal. 
If you're looking to explore the Osiris Shaft in Giza and examine the mysterious black goo for yourself, then consider joining my next esoteric Egypt tour with Adept Expeditions. On this tour, you will experience a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to explore the Osiris Shaft, a rarely visited site not available to the general public. And if you're interested in seeing the black goo found inside the Osiris shaft but cannot make it out to Egypt for a tour, then I've got you covered. My YouTube channel here has a virtual tour of the Osiris shaft where you can see the mysterious black substance up close and learn all about its symbolic significance to ancient Egyptians. The video is entitled The Ultimate Guide to the Osiris Shaft and it's a comprehensive tour of everything you need to know about this subterranean complex in Egypt including what the black goose symbolized for the ancient Egyptians. So if you're fascinated by the mysteries of the Osiris Shaft and want to learn more about the ancient Egyptian sacred science of black goo then be sure to check out my video tour of the Osiris Shaft on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And if you feel compelled to support me, my research, and the work I'm doing here on this channel so we can continue bringing you content like this, please do consider checking out my Patreon page. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you like this, I strongly suggest you watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next.